The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. You guys, the Princess of Wales, Catherine Middleton that is, seems to be missing and the internet is on fire. However, that's just one part of the mystery. The royal family is not doing a very good job addressing the truckload of controversies surrounding this matter. If anything, they have literally blown things way out of proportion from false reports, allegedly releasing AI generated photos of Kate, there's news about cancer, and then there are cheating allegations as well. Yep, you heard that right. Apparently and allegedly, uh, Prince William has been leading a secret affair and a baby is on the way, you guys. And it's not with his wife, Kate. <sighs> this is already too much and we've not even gotten started. You want to stick around to the end, guys, because this story is more twisted than a pretzel. We're talking betrayal, secrets, lies, temptation, and a shocking surprise that will have your jaw hitting the floor faster than you can say you've got to be kidding me. And so loves, without a beat, let's get right into it. Kate's face in this photo is actually a direct ripoff off of a Vogue magazine cover. That, that's not. That is not Kate Middleton. We're not beating around the bush here, guys. Everyone is asking one question. Where is Kate? All right, I'm gonna need you to pause because to answer this question, we've gotta go all the way back to the beginning. You see, this has to be the time the internet has focused on the royal family this much. Not even Harry and Meghan's wedding, nor the queen's death garnered so much public interest and controversy from all corners of the world. This is a particularly unusual situation situation because the next queen of the United Kingdom is missing. It all started on Mother's Day when Kate posted this picture on X or Twitter if you may. This picture literally let the cat out of the bag because online sleuths descended on it with all sorts of lenses and before you knew it the truth was out. Turns out this pic was photoshopped and that's when eyebrows started rising and suspicions flew through the roof. The Princess of Wales was last seen publicly on the 25th of December. Shortly after that she announced she was going into hospital for surgery, abdominal surgery. People didn't think anything of it, just wished her well. Kate was to resume her royal duties somewhere after Easter. And then days, weeks, months. Okay, let me not be too dramatic. Easter was literally still quite far, so naturally we weren't even supposed to inquire about her whereabouts, and we didn't until the palace started acting fishy, like that doctored Mother's Day photo. And that's when gossip mills actively picked up the story. Whispers here and there of everyone asking where Kate was. People noticed that they hadn't seen any pictures of her in a while and at first it felt like people were just hung up in Kate's business. Maybe she was still in recovery or something. Remember it was also around this time that King Charles announced that he was battling prostate cancer so basically there was just so much going on. So that was that. But then it became more and more intense. Articles started making the rounds alleging that there was more to Kate's disappearance than what meets the eye. Please Please note guys, by this point people were still hush hush about the whole issue because you know tabloids can sometimes do the most for a story to turn out to be false. So everything about Kate literally felt scripted. It was that Mother's Day photo that changed the narrative. So now you have the background info, so let's talk about this photo in particular. Like I said, the picture came out via Twitter. At a glance, it is just a beautiful photo of a mother and her three kids. However, by the following day, this photo had received several strikes from photo agencies because of suspicions that it had been doctored. At first, the only pointer was that Kate wasn't wearing her wedding ring. Still, some people gave it the benefit of the doubt because, I mean, come on, that's not enough reason to think that a photo had been manipulated. Remember, this was someone who was recovering from surgery, so what if her fingers were swollen or something? However, things got pretty serious, y'all. In no time, it was proven beyond any reasonable doubt that the photo agencies were right. Someone had clipped a pic Kate Kate had taken ages ago and kind of superimposed it here and then did a few Photoshop tricks and thought that the public would be too dumb to notice. You may have heard this theory that Kate's face in this photo is actually a direct ripoff off of a Vogue magazine cover from 2016. To make matters even worse, they, whoever created the photo, used a pic that was already
already in the limelight, which explains why it didn't take too long before people put the pieces together. Kate took this photo for the 2016 Vogue cover. You see, it wasn't so much the effort to manipulate Kate's face into the Mother's Day picture, but then it occurred to people then, where is Kate? And was she okay? It gets worse, y'all. It literally gets worse. Even the palace realized that they had been caught red-handed. So what did they do? Even worse. Kate had to take the blame and apologize to the public. Well, we all know it's not Kate handling her social media, so whoever started this madness is the same one who made that apology. When everything blew up, this is the apology that Kate supposedly wrote. Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. See. I don't know about y'all, but I didn't buy it. The red flags were red more than ever before. This is not just the citizens and online community that started seeing through the lies. Once this fake and lame statement was released, CNN said that they were going to be scrutinized and watch every picture that came from the royal family because at this point, they couldn't be trusted with the images they are releasing. This single incident opened the Pandora's box and there were some speculations from literally every corner as to what happened to Kate. Some say she she didn't want to come back, which would be terrible if that's true because it will confirm everything Princess Diana said long before any of you guys were born. Well, including me. Anyways, the story continues, guys. So now that the palace has decided to address this controversial photo through that apology, the press then asked them to release the original photo, but they refused. Why? Because there was no photo to release in the first place. Do you see how this tiny single incident destroyed the reputation of the royal family? I don't know about y'all, but I feel that in them trying to make things seem fine and prove to the public that Kate was okay, all their attempts backfired so badly, which has even magnified more than ever before that something isn't right, literally giving fire to the flame of all the rumors we've been hearing. And as you would expect, more stuff started coming out. Let's start with this photo. Oh, in case you hadn't noticed, loves, this isn't just some hot piping tea. Today, we have turned detectives and we're knee deep in the business of scrutinizing pictures from the royal family. All right, so this is yet another controversial pic that the palace released while trying to convince the public that the Princess of Wales is okay. In the photo, we can clearly see Prince William, but that's just about it. There's a woman in the back seat with him, but she's turned her back to the camera, and so we can't assume that it's Kate. And in case it is her, then the rumors could be right. All isn't okay because we all know how this goes. The princess never turn their back on people. She would be waving or seated upright like literally everyone would have recognized her from a distance. So up until this point, the palace still thinks that people are brainless, but they keep getting caught every single time. There's more loves, we've barely scratched the barrel. Okay, moving on to even more wild events. Let's talk about Rose Hanbury. Word on the street was that allegedly Prince William was back at it with this Rose Hanbury lady with whom he had a history of an affair and that they were back together. Believe it or not, rumors about Prince William's affair with Rose started swirling over five years ago. So apparently the photo editing saga coincided with this infidelity situation, which is now a theory, but I mean, there is no smoke without fire. Plus the way that the royal family is trying to throw Kate under the bus, I see why people might start assuming that they're trying to silence her and bring Rose Hanbury in. Like I said, it's all Princess Diana, Prince Charles, and Queen Camilla's love triangle all over again. Anyways, I digress. So about this Rose girl, uh, woman, no person, uh, whoever she is. It was revealed that she played a huge role in Kate's absence because she had an affair with Kate's husband, the prince. Furthermore, she is not just an ordinary citizen on these side chick streets. Articles have confirmed that Rose is a friend of the Waleses with ancestral ties to the royal family. I told y'all things are getting very much thicker. Looks like this situation got out of hand because Rose came out through her lawyers and said that these rumors are completely false. Rose Hanbury even went ahead to sue anyone and everyone who kept spreading this story. One such person is Stephen Colbert, a political commentator and TV host who, you know what, let me just read it for you guys. Colbert spent the final minutes of his opening monologue on Tuesday's episode of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert discussing the latest conspiracy theory behind Kate's public absence. 
absence. The kingdom has been all a flutter about the seeming disappearance of Kate Middleton, Colbert said. Well, now internet sleuths are guessing that Kate's absence may be related to her husband and the future king of England, William, having an affair. Colbert went on to name drop Hanbury as the woman at the center of the rumor mill. He also noted that speculation about Hanbury and William first cropped in 2019. According to tabloids back then, when Kate supposedly confronted him about it, he laughed it off, saying there was nothing to it. Colbert said jokingly, adding, always a good response when your wife accuses you of cheating. To make matters worse, it is alleged that Rose and William's situationship has gotten even more complex because there have been pregnancies in the past. Some are saying there's a baby on the way. Don't quote me on this, guys. I am just a messenger here. So now we have a missing princess, an unconfirmed cheating allegation, and then finally, we see Kate in her mother's car. She clearly looks different, swollen, extremely puffy, actually. As to why Kate looked like she had gained 30 pounds. Some said it was after surgery effects, others said steroids, this, that, and the other. The single pick gave birth to the third reason why Kate didn't want to be seen in public. They said she wasn't confident in her new look and that she was recovering behind the scenes and that she will be back when she's back to her former self. Well, fair point. But come to think of it, isn't it weird that this was the best photo they could get to prove that Kate was okay and in fact alive? Then another video was released of Kate at the Royal Windsor Farm. And once again, it had been confirmed that that wasn't Kate, another fake. Ooh, I need something stronger than coffee because what in the crown jewel thievery is going on here? Did the palace start a cloning experiment and forget to tell us? Because the only logical explanation at this point is that we've accidentally entered an, an alternate reality where everyone has a lookalike. To begin with, in this video, Kate is walking unusually faster than normal, wearing jeans and literally looking 15 years younger. If your head is spinning by now, me too, guys. Me too. It just doesn't add up. I mean, she shouldn't even be carrying that bag if it's indeed true that she had abdominal surgery and yet William is right by her side walking hands free. So first it was the Mother's Day photo of her and the three kids, then the one where she seemingly turned away while in the car with Prince William, then this other one in her mother's car, and now this one at Windsor Farm. And in all these, it has been proven that it isn't her. Someone who apparently works on that farm even said that whenever any of the royals visit, they close until they leave. This person said the farm wasn't closed and that she did not see any of the royals there that day. Guys, where is Kate Middleton? See, the thing is, no one even cares about all these. It still beats logic why the royal family has involved themselves in such a dirty and pointless fight. Like, why are they trying so much to prove to the world that Kate is okay? Because the more they do it, the more they keep messing up. What are they hiding? I don't know about y'all, but for me, at this stage, I felt like Kate was alive and okay okay, but maybe she was not keen on both her royal duties and her marriage. It's like she said, you know what? I have covered you for so long, William. I'm done. Why do I say this? Well, on the one hand, the royal palace was doing literally everything to prove that Kate was as active as a princess should be, and we were hit by yet another shocker. It was reported that Kate Middleton was quietly removed from the Trooping of the Color website's official schedule. Trooping of the Color is the king's annual official birthday parade, and someone at the Ministry of Defense jumped the gun and included Kate's name on the list of attendees, only for her name to be brought down because apparently she won't be attending. Let me read it out for y'all. On March 5th, observers noticed that the UK Ministry of Defense had claimed on its website that Middleton would be attending the Trooping of the Color ceremony on June 8th. Then on the same day, it quickly and quietly scrubbed the claim after Kensington Palace announced the princess's attendance had not actually been confirmed. This is just one of the many reasons why I kind of feel like Kate is okay, but ignoring her duties because she has had enough of the BS that goes on within the palace walls. But that's just me. We're not done yet, loves. When I tell you this situation is messier than any other controversy I've witnessed in years, it really is top tier, terribly scandalous. All right, moving on. Kate finally appeared, guys, and with shuddering news that she had been diagnosed with cancer. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London. And at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock. 
And William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. As I've said to them, I am well. I'm getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body, and spirits. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space, and privacy while I complete my treatment. And so it was official. Kate had been MIA because she had cancer. So ideally, all the commotion should have stopped and everything gone back to normal, right? <sighs> Loves, allow me to reveal to you that things literally moved from bad to worse. Would you believe me that even that video was doctored? The video of Kate talking about having cancer, yes, even that one was AI generated. At least that's what people are now saying and it doesn't come as a shock at this point because that's what the royal family has been doing from the get-go. I took the new Kate cancer video and I slowed it down frame by frame and I see her eyes popping out of her head as a digital mistake. And I truly believe personally, my personal opinion is that this is an AI video. And if you watch to the end of this video, super important, there's a seven year old video from YouTube with her wearing the exact same clothes, having the exact same hair, which they probably fed to the AI to make this video. It's a very good video. Probably the best AI available to hu humankind uh, but her eyes are changing color. I caught a couple glimpses of it. Uh, you can do this yourself, don't trust me. Put this in super slow motion, run it through frame by frame. You'll see her eyes popping out of her head, mismatching, changing color, as well as none of the background moves, which we know it's a green screen. What is this? What do you all think? You be the judge. In addition to what seemed like adding salt to an injury, another scandal struck. Three hospital staff members are allegedly on suspension for trying to break Kate Middleton's medical records. It's not enough that they got suspended. These three should never go anywhere near confidential information ever. One thing I've learned in this twisted tale of Kate is that people do not know where to draw boundaries. When it comes to celebrities and public figures, for some reason, the general public sort of feels in entitled to know everything about them. Whatever Kate went to the hospital for is none of our business. She didn't even have to address us. The fact that she announced it was just generous enough as it was. Now, there are three people on the loose trying to breach her vulnerability and trust. Kate already has too much on her plate, and then this. Have y'all considered that maybe she can't sleep because she doesn't know the kind of information that was breached, or much worse, how the media will twist everything when they get access to her medical records? Remember, as it is the situation is so heated to the point that it is now a global concern. Literally everyone is now invested. <sighs> It's barely four months into the year and Kate has had it. Let's just say that no one knows what's true and what's not. All we can say is so much has been happening in the Royal Palace and that place is super messy. If it's true that even this cancer video was AI generated, then that palace is so full of toxicity and negative energy, it is not a place where someone can thrive. Just by the way that they handled this case, it totally makes sense why the queen never handed over power. The late Queen Elizabeth II battled cancer to the last minute it, but she held on. Maybe she looked at her kids and were like, no, you guys are not ready. I mean, the cracks are showing. Oh, and by the way, if you've been keeping up with the royal family, then you already know that this mess couldn't have dialed down without people mentioning Harry and Meghan. Some said that they now understand why Meghan and Harry left. The heat in that palace is just too much, and it is no easy feat for anybody. You see, the thing is, the palace handled this situation so badly that people even said that all women who marry into the royal family can can never have peace. As you can already tell, when such a thing happens, people go all the way back. And in this case, they really went all the way into the archives and talked about the injustices and unfair treatment that the late Princess Diana faced and of course, Meghan. It was so heartbreaking to see people even wanting to know how Kate treated Meghan when Meghan was undergoing whatever she underwent in the royal family before they packed and left. And so now we have Kate and because of this particular situation, it looks like these women have to walk on tippy toes because that's probably the only way to survive in there. Could you imagine if this was Megan yeah. and her children and then oh it turned out God. that there had been some touches to the photo? Oh I think God. that Piers Morgan's head would explode, for one. <laughs> um, and I think some... You'd be able to hear Twitter. it from wherever you were. Oh. 
Well, exactly. Uh, there would be areas of Twitter that or X or what you want to call it would, would completely implode. Um, there, there's people who just literally spend every waking moment completely and utterly down. So true. Completely horrible to those two people who just have decided to step away. And but of course, everything they do is is completely against the royal family. And listening to some of the way that the, those people talk about them when they are invited on on TV, and it's like, but yet they they expect to sort of give the grace to Kate and and William. And it's like it's, one or the other, isn't it? Really? Yes, exactly. It's a and bit I of consistency. Agree that it would be best if Kate would, if if they were a little bit more, if they did clarify a little bit more what exactly has gone on, because there's an awful lot of. Um, information. I, think I just hate this tone, Steph. I just hate the tone. It's all a bit like, why don't you get back in your box? Why don't you, what's it got to do with you? Well, 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 well yeah. I suppose well, if you've got a royal family, it's got something to do with everybody. Well, Meghan's case was different. Not that she deserved what they did to her. Absolutely not. What I mean is people easily picked on her because she was different. But now they are doing this to Kate. Isn't she one of their own? Imagine being made to come out with an apology over something she didn't even do in the first place. Because obviously, Kate doesn't run her own social media. So whoever is doing this literally is having a field day, portraying her in the worst way possible. But that's not all. This situation is literally dragging everyone down because in the wake of all this, people are now asking where are Kate's parents and why are they silent if their daughter isn't okay? I know for sure that they aren't silent and if it's true that the royal family is doing their girl dirty, then it's just a matter of time before they say, give us our daughter back. If there is one thing common citizens have learned from all these, let's just say that being a member of the royal family is an extreme sport. But do you know what's worse? marrying into the family. It isn't something anyone should wish for, you guys. I mean, the pressure is just too much. No money, jewelry, clothes, and everything nice could possibly compensate for the freedom you have to give up when you go in. One thing is for sure, though, people are so emotional when it comes to the royal family. After digging very deep into this story, I realized the British feel extremely involved in the affairs of the royal family because the citizens literally feed these people. Yep, everything about that luxury life relies on the citizens' taxes, and so they are heavily invested in even the tiniest of details of the affairs of the royals. Is it okay? Uh, not necessarily, but do I understand? Oh, absolutely. I mean, if I'm paying your bills, I need to know a whole lot more about you. But unfortunately, things can always be blown way out of proportion, and that's exactly what happened here. Maybe the only good thing here is that unlike Megan, people don't troll Kate. Quite the contrary. Their hearts went out for her for going through all of this. Like, they were really sorry, especially after the news of her battling cancer. It's now super clear that these people, the royal family, are just like any other ordinary people going through the same stuff that we all go through, if not worse, because everything they do is in the public's business. People also pointed out that the late Queen Elizabeth really held that family down. With all its secrets and madness, it's barely two years since Queen Elizabeth passed on and people are losing their minds inside that palace. And watch it, guys. This Kate situation might even get worse. Because remember, even after all these, we still don't have answers. Not only that, so many issues are likely to grab public attention because y'all know that King Charles has health issues of his own to deal with. So it looks like there's no one to keep the family in check. Had Queen Elizabeth II been alive, none of these would have happened. Because her rule was super simple. Never complain, never explain. So many things have been written and said about the royal family for years, but the palace never addressed any of them. And so they remained just that, rumors. And to be honest, that was a great move by the queen because as it is, they already received too much publicity. Now imagine having to clear every tabloid rumor out there. One final thing no one is talking about are the actual people who betrayed Kate. First, it was her family, more so her husband, who in the view of many should have said or done something to stop all these. Prince William did not even have to address it publicly. All he had to do was tell the press or whoever handles PR at the palace to stop. We cannot overlook that all of this
this happened under his watch. Kate's own family has failed her more than anyone else. Speaking of the palace, they should have protected the dignity of the Princess of Wales, but they didn't. All those AI-generated images had no business making it to the internet. In fact, an uneducated, clueless, untrained doorman in the most uncivilized part of the world would have done a better job protecting Kate than they did. And then there are those three hospital workers and the hospital at large for being so careless with the princess's medical reports. Has it not occurred to y'all that maybe the only reason Kate came out about her cancer could have been because of that breach? What if she wanted to handle it privately? Kate and William have three beautiful young children, and we all know Kate has really poured into public service. So from the outside looking in, Kate doesn't deserve this. She really doesn't. It's true that the public have kind of sort of harassed her into speaking out about her cancer. And in case that was her in the video, but we cannot overlook the fact that the palace, the royal family, and a place she calls home has let her down even more. We still do not have clear answers on anything, guys. I intentionally delayed this video because I wanted to get the full picture and more in depth, but as you can see, there are still more questions than answers. I believe we will definitely get a glimpse at the actual Kate in the near future, but for now, let's leave Kate alone, even if the million dollar question remains, where is Kate, the Princess of Wales? I promise to keep you posted on this matter and let me know your thoughts on this issue and thank you for watching loves. See you in the next video.